baby has finally appeared. She's in the far left, right beside the orange tabby. We missed her. We thought that that baby had gotten killed. She vanished. We could have gotten her when she was young enough to be tamed. Now all we'll be able to do with her is to spay her and put her back out here or get her to a barn. But we don't have enough barns for the barn cats we have, so that's really not even a possibility. Super sad. She's not even able to get up to the bowl to eat because they're not letting her. This is what happens when people don't spay and neuter their pets. The little ones have the hardest time because the big ones are going to make sure they eat and there's not a nursing mom for this kitten. The nursing mom hasn't been seen in a while, so she's gone. So what I'll do is I'll try to swing back by here on my way back from Granite Falls and I'll put some more food out. Hopefully these big kit kittens will be full and then that baby can come out and get some food but that baby doesn't have much chance of making it if they keep pushing it away. Please stay and neuter your pets. This is disheartening and sad, and this is a human-caused problem. Don't blame the cats. Don't get mad at the animals. Get mad at the humans that aren't taking care of the problem. Get mad at the lazy people who toss their animals out because they become inconvenient Get mad at your politicians for not caring about animal laws because they're more concerned about votes. They're afraid they're going to tick off the community if they require anything more than, than a rabies vaccination. Until the am animal lovers speak up and make the politicians aware that we're angry, nothing's going to happen. this will just continue and nothing we do is going to really make a dent in the issue. There's that sweet baby again, trying to get to the ball. She's tiny, but she's too old to tame. She's past the age where taming her is going to be impossible. 